Hi, it's Philip of Ivacy. Um, today I would like to show you a quick video how to uh, roll back changes on Team Foundation Server version control. The thing is, sometimes you uh, worked on something for a couple of hours or um, sometimes maybe even a couple of days and you did check in a couple of times and in the end you recognize well, that just doesn't cut it and we need to get rid of the most recent changes even though they are in version control. We want to go back to a previous version and uh, that is what this is about. So yeah, let's have a look at my screen and I'll show you how that works. I prepared two forms. I just called them form new design 1 and 2 and um, if I open them they look pretty horrible and um, yeah that is what I worked on I checked that in you see they are just checked in, in in this horrible state and in the end I come to the conclusion that is not what I want my forms to look like so I want to roll back the form to a previous state and um, yeah, the, the first step is I view the history of those forms. We have only two history items here. The, the first one is when I added the form and the second one is uh, with the com new controversial design is when I changed them to, to be ugly. Yeah. So, and this is what I want to undo. But before I do anything, I should have a look at the change set. So I um, show the change set details here. And you see there were actually two forms, both of them, uh, form new design 1 and 2. They were checked in together in that new controversial design check-in. And um, that is a quite important thing I want you to, to keep always in mind. If you do roll back a change, it will always roll back a complete change set. You cannot just roll back a single object, it will always affect the whole change set. So if there is only one object in that change set, everything's fine. But if there are multiple objects in there, you, you will undo the changes to all of them. Keep that in mind. Usually, if you if you grouped your changes uh, together and and um, you organized the check-ins in a way that that um, they represent one change, even though it does affect several objects, then you are then you are golden because um, with the undo you undo the change not only uh, put one of the objects into its previous state but all of them okay but uh, back to the screen let's let's look on uh, how to do that so I'm actually um, confident that I want to roll back the whole change set and then I can uh, select the roll back entire change set item from the context menu and click that. And now you'll see there was a brief moment flashing the, the progress dialog of Team Foundation Server. And it is mainly done, but not completely, because now I can close the history and um, nothing happened yet. They're still ugly. Because now I have to go to uh, Source Control Explorer and uh, you see these two forms are actually checked out even though I didn't check them out. Um, but you see the, the pending change is an rollback in addition to a normal lock and edit. So in the pending changes you see these two uh, forms are affected from that uh, change and um, yeah I, I have to as usual I have to enter a commit message or a check in comment and do uh, ugly design and then I have to check in this rollback that's what I do here yeah I confirm that and now um, that is done and I can go back to access 
and uh, even though I refresh the status of IVRC, it does not show up as out of date, what it should do, but I don't know why now yet. I think it's a problem with Team Foundation Server. Um, it's still the old design and it's not marked as out of date even though it is. What I do now, and uh, that is something you need to do manually, I select both of the forms and say yeah, get latest version. These two forms are checked so the, uh, they are affected and as I uh, do not want to merge anything, just uncheck the, the merge thingy down here and um, yeah, then I'm good to go and say OK and now if I open them you see they're looking totally different that is the original version of, of the forms that I checked in with just a plain white design without those ugly orange and blue colors and the second form that is important, the for form new design 2 it is changed as well, so both forms have been rolled back to their original state. And um, yeah, well, I'm done here. That is essentially what I wanted to show you today. It is pretty simple if you know um, what, what you're doing and how it works, but um, if you have never done it before, I think this video might help you. And if you liked this video, if it um, had shown you something that you didn't know before, then just uh, there's a like button and I uh, would, would really appreciate if you um, like this video. Thank you.